Okay, so thank you guys for being here. Number one, um, thank you guys for your commitment and your uh, dedication to um, and the entire Gainesville community for uh, helping us out with the uh, gift cards for the holiday social. That turned out really, really well. Like we had more than enough yeah. gift cards. Yes, yes. Um, we even had so many that we were able to supply uh, almost all of our teachers with gift cards in a in a kind of a lottery type style thing with some um, tickets. Um, and then we had a couple of things at the last teacher work day. Um, I'll actually go back on that same day. We had a cornhole tournament, which we awarded. Then we did the lottery style for the gift cards. Um, and then we had a chili cook off during the last um, teacher work day, okay. soup and chili. So we had three winners there. So we were able to give oh, some to yeah. there. So we still got, you know, a slim amount. So we're going to use those over the course of the year. Um, but I was, I was, um, I shouldn't say I was surprised, but it was very overwhelming because mm -hmm. we started out with just a few. I think you were the first one, Miss Williams, to turn a couple in. Yeah, no. no that's, yeah, that's the world. Oh, that <laughs> no, I think they were like on the last day because they brought the little bucket or whatever it was. Got you. There was some left at my Right. So I think that's what, that's what it was. Somebody supplied them to you and then maybe you sent them in. Like yeah. No, I didn't send theirs until it was literally a lot. I remember the box. Right. There. But then we did it. If you guys remember, we did it at the basketball game. We had a few right. there. And then I think maybe Friday before I left the office, I put something out that we'd take them up until noon Monday. So we got a steady, oh, good. yeah, a steady, um, um, group of them between then and Monday. So thank you for that. They were, the staff was appreciative and they were um, very generous to all of you. Um, so this will be the norm. Um, I don't know, maybe it does, maybe it does not cut down on our in-person attendance, um, but we'll start doing our meetings um, and make them available on the GHS webinar. So that we'll put out an invitation anywhere from five to seven days, and maybe let's be honest, three to seven days before that meeting. And therefore, if something comes up and you can't be here in person, um, you can do that. Um, one of the things we talked about in the other meeting was to offer uh, the website, um, the community email, which I don't know if you guys noticed that the last time. So the notes had been going to just those people who had signed up. You, you two were some of the main ones from day one, that group, and also the website. And um, I believe it was your suggestion, Ms. Williams, that we get to a point where we were able to, um, you know, get back to the point where we were able to get that information out to the entire community. There was another parent, there was another parent that she was on one of the other committees, like maybe the principal's committee or. Mm -hmm. the Advisory. Right. So she had mentioned that she was right. on the website. I didn't even know that. I knew there was a website. I kept on. Sure, sure. Uh, someone who's on the webinar. I'm and this, and you have to forgive me. This is my first time doing this. I saw someone put a hand up. Can you hear me? Whoever had a question. Um, if not, you can just put it in the chat, and I can try to answer your question here momentarily. Um, the, uh, we have some student leaders here with us last time. None of them are here tonight. They were supposed to look into, um, uh, transitioning our information, not necessarily the meeting notes, but just, you know, when the meetings were going to take place, the availability to the webinar, those things through Twitter and Facebook. Um, there was one young lady who I see almost every other day. Um, and we have not had one discussion about, uh, PTSO. We've talked about everything else, but that. Um, so I can check in with uh, Mr. Miller, who oversees the leadership, and also check in with um, some of the kids and see where we are with that. Um, next on my list here, going right down the agenda, um, I did have a time here for the student leaders to speak to some things, um, things they're doing. Uh, let me think of some things right out the box. Uh, one of the things they're trying to do and there was a QR code going around school last week. I don't know if it's still open or they finalized it. Um, as you guys know, um, most high schools, if not all high schools have a, um, excuse me, I don't, I don't wanna call it a spirit club, but 
you have a group that mainly shows out at football games and basketball games. Yeah, and they normally dress up or have a out, as they call it, red out or black out or whatever, and they just sit in the stands and bring school spirit. So that's something that the leadership is wanting to do. Um, one of the things that uh, was stated by Mr. Eldridge, our athletic director, activity director, I should say, was that he wanted the leadership to kind of come together before we branch out into something like that. So obviously they've had some discussions and now they're pretty much branching out with that. So one of the things that they're doing is they just put something out um, to, um, to the uh, student body to have them select a name. One was the cage, I know that. The other two, I can't remember. The cage is kind of is kind of catchy, yet, and even though they're in a different county, Kettle Run, who's right down the road, theirs is the cage. Because uh, Falkir is Falcons. There's only three high schools in Falkir. Falcons and Liberty is the Eagles. So theirs is the cage. But the cage would be cool. Um, but there were two other names. I cannot remember what they are off the top of my head. Who are the crazies? Cameron. Cameron K. Crazies. Yeah. 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 yeah that's a whole That's a basketball thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It is. Um, other than that, leadership, I'm not sure what they're working on or doing. I do know we celebrated, um, was it Principal's Week? Was that, this is my first, first one. Was that was the official title a couple of weeks ago? It was either school administrator or school principals week or something along those lines. Yeah, so they did a good job. They brought us a couple of gifts. Um, they brought us a nice looking banner. We took a picture. I don't know if it's been posted on social media. And, that. Um, and we got to hang the banner in that main hallway where our conference room is and stuff. And I did, I do know today I saw them out and about because this is um, National School Counseling Week. So they did kind of the same thing, brought them some gifts individually and put a nice poster up and down in the counseling office. Our counselors are awesome. They're awesome. They really are. I mean, they, um, they are an all-star cast and I'll have to brag a little bit on the two I work with, Ms. Hope and Ms. Sigmund, um, being a first year uh, administrator, even though I worked with some good counselors last year at Freedom, this is my first time working directly with two counselors and they've been great. So, um, so definitely want to give them kudos. So the leadership's been busy. They're, they're really good. Mr. Miller does a really good job with them and they, they're kind of independent and kind of doing things and um, making good suggestions. Um, new membership parents um, are still welcome to join us. Um, usually our meetings are monthly. Uh, we try to look at the last Thursday of the month. That's been the norm, obviously, with uh, the postponement from last time. And like you said, some snow days and different things going on. We've had to change it, and that's why we're meeting tonight. Um, but for the month of November, excuse me, month of March, if you guys want to note, we will meet on uh, March 31st, which is the last Thursday of the month. Pencil that in, because normally what I do is I run that by our uh, executive secretary, Ms. Dunlow, just to make sure there's no conflicts on our schedule. Um, so that is um, to be determined, but right now I'm penciling in 31 March for our next meeting. Moving right along here, uh, we are still, I hate to say this, bite my tongue, uh, looking for PTSO leadership. Uh, specifically chair, secretary, and treasurer. Um, I know some of you have had an interest in um, working with us in terms of um, chairing different events. Um, one is the uh, prom, which I was just told today, this prom chair and the organization of this prom will be for 2023. It will not be for this year, no prom this year. So that'll be the junior senior prom. No, no. I was told today it would be for next year. Oh, really? I will. Let me check. Let me double check. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. If anything, it's the dress. Although some of the ladies, some of the ladies dress nowadays. For homecoming like his prom but 
the dress is the main thing. Yeah, black tie versus casual or casual with a tie, I guess you could say. Um, I did have one representative reach out to me that said she was interested in any positions. I told her we could have a um, conversation about that. Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, doing that. Ms. Walker, I see that you possibly have your hand up wanting to ask a question. If you could just put that in the chat, that'd be great. Um, and I can chat back at you here in a second. Um, let's see here. This might be the quickest meeting in PTSO history, ladies. Uh, I talked about that. Upcoming, if you guys want to put these dates on your calendar, Teacher Appreciation Week, that is one thing that uh, Mr. Beach is very um, passionate about in terms of the PTSO being a part of it. Um, what we could do and what we need to do, and maybe I'll put this, ma'am. I said May, yes. Monday, May 2nd through Friday, May 6th. And one thing we can do is seek a, the kids start prom was this year and they went out and bought, oh, there was a funding issue by the junior class. How much money do they need to raise? Um, I am not sure. Maybe I mis misheard what was going down, but I will definitely go to the source tomorrow just to find out. But I, I was under the assumption it was 2020, 2023. Hilton at GMU. Okay, I will definitely find out tomorrow. I don't think we're going to have for two years. No. Uh, that's not true. Um, couple of, uh, I don't know, Prince, did we have one at Freedom Life too? Some parents had Some of, one that were really large. Yes. Like yes. Like school, but they were not by, I mean, I didn't Maybe not. I may be thinking about homecoming dance. That's what I'm really thinking about. Well, well, ours was outside, as you know. Um, I only know this because my son attended one for Kettle Run. Theirs was outside. Like they did the whole white tent with the white furniture rented. They did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But now that you say that, um, maybe people didn't. But I got two responses on the chat that about prompts. So let me check into that. And Miss Williams, you said you would be interested. It is tight. It is tight. That's why I need to find out. That's what I need to find out. Um, so maybe, maybe, now here's the difference. And I may be getting the two confused. The prom may be one thing. Maybe, maybe I was under the impression that the first after prom would be 2023. That's what I might be confusing. That's what I might be confusing. Yes. So. Well, if you, if, if there after this prom, they will start for the next year. Yes, and yes. During, because now it's almost impossible to be honest with what after prom. Right. And you didn't have to be very close. Both, right. Class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now that I think about it and clear my head a little bit, maybe that's what I'm thinking about. So the after prom, it's real tight for that. Like, matter of fact, you'd have to get on the books like, now. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. And like I discussed earlier, his his Mr. Beach's vision is to have it right across the street, which yeah. would be perfect. Which would be perfect. Um, Ms. Williams, do you mind looking into that at some point? Just call it being inquisitive and saying, hey, this is what we're thinking for 2023. What are you thinking? How do how far out do you have to, you know, reg not register, but book a date and that kind of stuff? Okay, so teach appreciation week. Um after prom for next year. I did get a flyer today. So occasionally I get these flyers in the mail. That are specific to fundraising. And most of them that come down the pike are those, you know, you go to a particular restaurant and you order and they give you 10% towards Gainesville or whatever the case may be. Um, one of the things I need to look into, and I've been holding off because I've really been waiting for someone to kind of take over the role as chair, is the money part. 
um, and to discuss what we're going to do about dues and then what we're going to do in terms of our first fundraiser. Um, but I need to sit down with our bookkeeper about that. And then I also need to kind of have somebody in place in terms of leadership in order to do that as well. Um, so that's where we are with that. Uh, it was something else I wanted to mention to you guys about upcoming too. I cannot remember exactly what it is. Oh, that's what it was. We probably need someone and anybody out there in the, uh, in the, in the land of webinar or anyone who listens to the recording, anyone who's interested in being a chair I think we need someone to spearhead the whole teacher appreciation week um, to kind of get some ideas about what's going on um, in terms of that. And, you know, a lot of things happen. There, there's a, there's things that we're going to do as a school. We'll probably do something for the teachers every day. Um, whether the PTSO wants to do that, I'm not sure. I do know in previous schools that I've been at, the PTSO has done things to furnish lunch. The PTSO has done things to furnish breakfast one day out of the week. Um, I know one year, I think it was last year at uh, Freedom, they did like a, um, it was either mid morning or afternoon, like they rolled around like a snack cart and they had water and soda and juices. Yeah, then they had like granola bars and check mix and stuff like that. Yeah, those are nice. Those are nice. Um, at Kettle Run, we even did the, um, they even did like ice cream. They would come around with an ice cream cart. And I guess, but they don't even sell ice cream in school anymore, do they? At the bars and probably uh, anything individually wrapped. Uh-huh. But they do like this, like the popsicles or things like that now? Uh, sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think for you need money to do a luncheon, you need like money for right, like right, 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 right. But for the breakfast part, you can have to go donate. Yes. So they can, you know, donate bagels or uh, like cream cheese or butter or donuts. Mm -hmm. That's a lot easier to do. Right. Versus, right. Uh, like, then a full fledged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Have, yeah, we, have, yeah, we, yeah, we. Yeah, we definitely need to would build, we would need to build up the budget yeah. in order to do something big like that. Yeah. yeah I mean, $1,000 is a lot. Sure. No, no. No, we don't have a treasure and we don't have a chair yet. So we've been kind of limited. Yeah, those were donated. Those were donated. And people can and, donate money. Right. I, mean, you can do it, but if that's a large I was going to say, I think it's easier. It's easier to donate items for breakfast than it is to donate cash for any event. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Right. Right. But if you probably more or less get a, a donation of, mm -hmm. you know, water or juice. Or, right. And it can be individually wrapped. That's a great thing, unfortunately, about COVID. <laughs> right, right, right. Right. Individually yes. Right. Exactly. So. What about that lady? Yeah. T-shirt lady. Oh, she did the baskets. She did the baskets. Yes. That was months ago. Yes. You know, I have her email. Okay. okay. That's one of the things, I think I mentioned that earlier, one of the things we changed right after our last meeting is, because I didn't know what everyone's um, thoughts were on privacy issues in terms of sharing emails, but that's one thing we did for the after the last meeting. We kind of grouped everyone in a group email. Those are people who have basically been on board since day one or at least signed up to be a part of the PTSO. So you, in the last couple of emails, you should have seen, you know, each other's emails in terms of what's going on. Yeah, I think I'm in Kanye, maybe. Um, Might be. That sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Oh, 
Oh, I see it. Miss Walker. Hi. I literally just figured out how to do this. You have to forgive me. This is my first webinar. All right, so you got like 30,000 questions. What's the question? So it wasn't answered. Oh, this is Alexis, isn't it? Yes, it is Alexis. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to your mama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why have you on the line? Did you guys discuss anything with leadership? And I know uh, Blue and a couple other guys were in last time, and they were going to follow with Mr. Nemero and talk about Twitter and um, trying to get us on Twitter and Facebook. You don't have any updates on that, do you? Um, I know Blue said that they were still trying to figure it out for right now. I'm actually talking to her right now. Okay. But, so they're still figuring out the technology from a technology aspect. But mm -hmm. I think I do have your answer about prom because okay, I, believe, I believe we split with um, SCA. So I'm pretty sure prom is SCA. So if you have any questions, I would ask them specifically okay. the class of 2023. Okay. All right. Like I was telling the ladies here, I think I got prom and after prom mixed up. I think we're, we're planning the after prom for 2023, but you're right. I think the prom may be going down. We just haven't spoken about it recently. Yeah, I think from what I know right now, it's scheduled to be in May, mm -hmm. but that date's not tentative. So I'm not sure, gotcha. but if you need me to get confirmation, I can. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Ms. Billingsley, can you hear me? Yes. How are you tonight? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. So my secretary, her name is Carol Fifley. P, I don't know what her email address is right off the top of my head, but if you go to the website, her information is there. And if you just send her your name, um, and, and I believe she has a document, and if not, I can forward it to her. She has a document that we use from day one in terms of the sign up, which asks um, some questions about your interest in the PTSO. It also asks um, the name of your child and what grade and some simple information like that, contact information, things of that nature. So if you reach out to her either tonight or tomorrow via email, she can send that information to you. Okay. All right. Thanks for being here. So now that I've dramatically figured out these microphones. Does anybody else have a uh, question or comment? Miss Walker, are you there? I am here. I got How a list of sound. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Did you, um, did I answer your questions? I tried to best I could answer your questions in the chat. Yes, you did. But, um, does PTO have to help with the prom? Do they assist at all? I just wasn't sure. Ah, uh, that's a good question. I'll have to take that back and figure that out. Um, PTSO, as you know, was very uh, helpful in um, homecoming. Um, if an event like prom were to come up, I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily think it would be a bad idea to get assistance from the PTSO. I just don't know in what regard that would be. I'd have to ask. Okay. okay. Does anyone else have any questions and or comments they'd like to ask? And I can unmute you and listen if it's um, something you so desire. Um, I made that comment earlier um, about if you're, uh, to Ms. Billing, Ms. Billingsley, if you're first timers to the PTSO, please just email my secretary. Her name is Carol Fifely, excuse me, with a P. Her name is located on the website and she will send you the documentation that you can use to officially uh, sign up. Um, that's all I have for tonight. Ladies, did you have any comments or questions that you want to add to a, a conversation? No, just encourage everybody from PTO to come to the principal's advisory board next week on the 16th at 6.30. Oh, there you go. You heard it there first. Principal's advisory next, I'm sorry, what day is that, Ms. Ms. Walker? 
It, it's next Thursday. Next Thursday. That's the 17th. No, I'm, I'm sorry. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. At Wednesday. Two, at, yep, at 6.30. At 6.30. Very good. Okay. No, that one's in person. I don't, I don't think they're doing... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're not doing webinars. Yeah, it's in person. Got you. Ms. Kenzel, how are you tonight? Oh, can you, can you guys hear me? Yes, ma'am. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Just happy. Just making notes and just um, I'll get my information submitted, ready to work, ready to help. That's really okay. Good. Very good. Yes. Very thank good. Taking Thanks notes on where, where I can put my hand up and uh, roll my sleeves up and get after it. So, thank all right, you. sounds good. Thanks for being here. Sure. Yeah. PTA could have had like a suitable chair as a piece of the school deck picked up because that would be the same family. Right. So, therefore, you've got to separate what a parent organization is doing and a lot As opposed to the school is doing. Right. And that would have been a huge money. That would have. Um, one of the schools I was at had a poker night. Now, granted, it was off site and they did it under the umbrella of the PTSO. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but all the funds went to after prom or whatever else, teach appreciation, whatever else was going on. So, so I'm real charged up about, and I'm sure a lot of people online and people that are not even associated with this would be charged up for the fundraising piece. We just got to get some leadership and get a treasure yeah. in place. Well, that is collaboratively work with the other leads for clubs, like there's athletic leads, mm -hmm. club teams, like mm -hmm. is there music piece for clubs? Uh, band boosters, yeah, yeah, just to make sure they're not doing the same type, right, right, yeah, yeah, and I, yeah, that was always, that was with uh, athletics as well, like if you, like, you know, if, if somebody was doing a fall golf tournament and someone was doing a spring golf tournament, the golf tournaments were done, like they, you already got two people doing them, that's enough, or if somebody's selling donuts after school, then that's obviously out too, so yeah, so you got to kind of be creative and Jump on your ideas early. And does the athletic director manage all of these? Is he? Is that going to be one of his responsibilities? Is to bring all of these, I guess, presidents together so that they could have one calendar? Um, not necessarily him. No. So he kind of oversees the boosters, and is connected to the band boosters, and kind of like I'm doing here, just kind of okay. the moderator of things. Um, but in terms of us, now he may come you know, down the hallway and say, hey, our group is thinking about doing this. Is PTSO doing anything like this? Or if I go to him and say, hey, are you guys doing that? Because we wanted to do, you know, so there's conversations like that, but he's not necessarily seeing all of it in terms of what everybody's doing, right? Yeah. So again, uh, pencil in March 31st. I will first thing tomorrow um, talk to our executive secretary, make sure nothing's on the calendar for that day. And if not, we will meet again 630. For those of you who can join us in person, please do so. And if not, we will talk to you via the webinar. Thanks. I think I have one hand. He isn't doing that but yeah 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 understood understood um ask her to uh email miss fifely um and i can uh, somehow some way get it on my calendar and we can have a conversation about it that'd be great i mean i don't mind either but i don't want to be yeah yeah right 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 yeah. Well, I'm going to put that information out tomorrow again mm -hmm. with the notes. So I will probably document that and say, you know, even if you're interested in co-chairing a position with someone, we welcome, you know, anybody. Because at this point, we'll take anybody that has an interest. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. 
Okay. All right, everyone out there, thank you. Have a nice night and we will see you. If you have any questions, um, please feel free to email me. Thank you.